Hi everybody, Melanie. I uh, thought I'd do a whip, um, show you what whips I'm doing. So this will be floss tube three. Um, I got some meal as well, so I'll show that first and then I'll show you what I've been working on. So I've covered it up this way. I've opened it because I didn't know what it was at first, but it's actually a Halloween uh, package from Pole Stitches. I don't know if anybody else has got one. I didn't expect it to come out yet. And it's got some gorgeous material in. We've got a green one here. You can see the shading of that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I really like that. I'm trying to show what's causing a glare. Sorry about this. Oh, it's that thing. That's me. <laughs> right. Let's take it out. So this is from... It's called... It's limited pack, All Hallows Golden Cauldron. That must be the material. Golden Cauldron, which is gold. And that would be this one. And the Witch Hazel. And they're both 18 by 27 inch, 28 count opalescent Lugana. <clears throat> now, as you probably know, I've got poly eyes, but I want to have a go at 28. Because a lot of people say it's equivalent of 14. So I thought I would have a go and we'll have a look at it. Find the opening. So let's have a look. It's gorgeous. I do like the sparkly material. Especially for the backgrounds of the big ladies. So I'm starting to get these for... I'm starting to get them. I have Lakeside Needlecraft subscription fabric of the month and i saved them for when i'm doing my mirabilias now this one is beautiful it's just beautiful base if you can see it oh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous isn't it oh it's really sparkly let's see if i can show you some sparkle on it see if this is right if you can see it there no, you won't be able to see it there. Can you see it there? Really sparkly. And that's beautiful. And actually, the pattern that we've got for that, let me show you. Well, I think it looks more appropriate for that one. Is this one. And that one is Paul Stitches Designs. Happy Halloween. Isn't that just fabulous? Look at that. On this green background. It'll be absolutely gorgeous for Halloween. So I should imagine I'll be doing it that way. Let's have a look. So I think it's landscape, the design. So I'll be doing it this way. And I've never, ever done a 28 count. So I have no clue if best to do... Is it best to do one over one? Two over one? Does it tell you? Sometimes it does, doesn't it? Let's see the back. Strands per skin. La, la, la. No. But sometimes it says suggested two over two. If you could help me with this, anybody, because I've never ever done a 28 count and I would love to know which is, which is best. I do like neatness and I'd rather go sparing than do too fluffy. So is it one over one? That's for that one. Right, let's put that away. That's a lovely piece of material. Really nice. It's gorgeous. Right, now let's have a look at the next pattern. The next pattern, this one looks fantastic. It's also got beads, which I've never done, and crying. So everything for a new challenge I'm up for. This one is called the Sorceress. You can see her there. I will bring you up. The Sorceress by John Elliott. I don't know if I said who did the other design. And it's, you can get hold of these on the website Pull Stitches designs.co.uk and I think they're based in Wales they're really good 
they have some lovely materials sometimes on Etsy and the one that we've got here for the golden cauldron they've picked this one oh it's just gorgeous there's, there's so many different let's show you that now that one's got like oh it's beautiful it's got like faded it's got pinks a little bit of one paler pink here there's a golden color accent added to it and it's really really glittery i don't think i've seen a material this opalescent of quality now i order opalescent from a different company and it's not as opalescent as this one it's just beautiful and that one is for this pattern the sorceress there she is again onto that one tell me what you think and best way to approach it if you can i can't use pattern keeper because i can't stare at blue lights too long which means i only can do it like a couple of hours even on a computer um i have to get specific glasses for that so that's that there let's put that there right um there's a couple of stitches called Keep On Stitching. Uh, two ladies, Stephanie and Pam, which are fantastic. And she's survived breast cancer. And she's doing a sal for that. So I've been doing this one for my mum. And you do specific colours for the... Dis it sounds awful, but you do specific colours for the specific different cancers some have survived some died unfortunately and my mum died of stomach cancer i was only um, 27 and it took her pretty quickly so this one is a periwinkle blue which it says on the chart for that but for the for the um courage which is different what i've done is i've used let's see if i can put that light on it for you See if that helps. So I'm doing this on a 14 count from Lakeside Fabrics, Fabric of the Month. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but it is like a quite a golden, it's like a a peachy cream, I would say. And then the courage and other little accents I've done in silks for you. PR 105 it is is the number for that one there and then the periwinkle which i keep on a clip like this you see these big clips they go around the q snaps fantastic so i keep them on there and i plait them so that's the 105 that silk and then the periwinkle silk is what is that one now um if you need to know comment Put it in the comments and I'll, t I'll I'll have a look for you. I will put it in down in the comments. Yeah, so they're beautiful. And I I did write to um, the lady at Silks View to ask her what suggestions she could make as to near that colour. And that's the nearest she came up with a periwinkle blue, which has got like variegated in it. But it's gorgeous when it's done. So I'm changing some of the letters in this to fit me personally so i've changed a couple already but it what it will read is eventually it will read my mum's name there alice there and then it says m and it goes around to say alice mother of mine you see that but what i'm gonna do is because it's not obvious for everybody to see that i'm gonna put tiny little arrows in where i think I'm going to stitch some arrows in to say which way around because people won't always get it just the first glance at it. So I might do that. So I've been doing that, stitching it and loving it. And let me show you the other things that I've been stitching. Oops, a daisy. Oh, I use this little light. The first time I saw this light was on um, Stitcherista. She has some great ideas and gadgets and things. So thank you, Stitcherista, for enabling me. I get quite labelled a lot by Stitcherista. 
Right, let's have a look at these things. I might as well start with a small one. I do keep them in pillowcases until I... These nice little pillowcases. Some of my stitching. Okay, let's see what this one is. Hide the chart. Put my little bits in a box. Here we are, let's have a look. It's a little bit crease because I, I do take them off the Q-snaps and put them back on. Oh, this one is a Halloween pattern that I got on Etsy. Um, let me see if it's on the name on me. Happy Halloween. It's just one that you can get on Etsy. There's lots of patterns there. I know my little bobbins are in there. That's the back, sorry. So this is the one I did. See, I'm just new starting. Can you see it? It's like over there, but it's, I've got all this here. So it's tr trying to work out the fabrics because I did a really big one and I'm mis somehow misaligning the, the size of the fabric for the size of the work. So this is the Halloween one. We've got a ghost, a pumpkin, witch's hat, her legs below the knee. Cauldron, we've got poison, a bottle here, an eye, mushroom, cocktail, yes, we've got to have cocktails, of course, and a spider. I'm really enjoying this one as well. This is quite an easy one for me to do because it's on a nice, I chose to do it on a lemon fabric. I think some people have done it on a green one. So I've got to repick that up soon. Because we love Halloween at my house. I've always loved Halloween. I used to do balloons and everything for the little ones that would come round. And balloons and all sorts of things. Oh, this is the front of the chart. I think I can show you that. I'll give you a quick glance. There it is. That one. And if there's anything on that part. I'm trying to find the name for you. Oh, the company. It was on Etsy though. Yeah, there's some fantastic patterns on Etsy. So that goes back in there. In my little pillowcases. I've got three machines, but I don't like them. I keep breaking the needles. So I'm not very good at sewing. My mum was the sewer. Let's have a look what else we've got. This one in here was from the Fat Quarter Shop. That has not been stitched yet, but I might do that in a giveaway because it's... Oh no, I have been doing that. Yes, we are. It's called, the actual set is called Blooming Beautiful. And this is as far as I've got which is the back, that's the back, that's the front, there we go, that's as far as that, now I'll show you the actual pattern that it should look like afterwards, because I think I've done it round like a bolster for that, which I wouldn't mind doing, I will have a crack at anything, uh, oh, that's an English saying. Uh, have a crack at anything, so you'll have a go. Yeah, it's like on a bolster cushion. Uh, bolster cushion, cushion. Sorry. Yeah, that's lovely. Is that? So I'm going to have forgot that. Put that back in there, so I don't lose it, and we'll put that back together. In that, this is a great little stitch bag. This is from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, quarterly and you get like a little tag you could put that in name you what project you're doing which is really good let me show you my next one okay let's have a look at this one what's this one and what i do is i keep all these in a like a box that will take them this one, let me see which this one is. So I've got this on a Q snap and it's, I've got, that's the back, 
14 count. And I'll show you the picture first because I don't know how to insert pictures yet. Have I got a picture? Yes, let's show you this one. I'll just put them there, that's the colours. So this is a picture of this one. It's gorgeous. It's like reindeers with a house and snow. That'd be lovely to put up in a room at Christmas time. That's by Ankleman's Designs. I think it's also Maddie's Chats. And she's licensed. There we are. And that one, I better take the chart off it. Hide that under there a minute. Not much progress on this, but I'm still getting into all these big full on ones. And as you can see, that's my progress so far. I think it will be. Which way around is it? It's that way around. Because these are like dense trees. There we go. And the needle minder. Cute little thing and fantastic. Absolutely fantastic magnets. This is Snow White. And they're from a shop called don't step on your needle, which I've done many a time. And I think you've heard that before. So that's that one. That's a lovely Christmas one. Need to get more Q snaps for all the projects that I have. What's the great thing about Q snaps is you can keep them all in a box. Take them to pits, keep them all in a box. And then you can put to which size you want actually you don't have to stick to the original size that it comes in let's see what we've got in this one not many of them have had much um stitching on since i've been starting the the cell with um the curry the one for my mom i love that one it's really nice up there i've got crumpled here look this i think this is a russian pattern I did like the pattern. I love the pattern. It's like a lady. You can see it there. A lady with a fox. And I've made very little progress on this one. But I am enjoying it because I'm stitching this one in hand. Yeah. Another needle minder there from Don't Step On You. They have fantastic magnets on them. They're just brilliant. She does scissor fobs. Um... Let me show you this is a fold. Let's show you that one. Where is it? You can probably hear it's just all fallen. There we go, Melanie. There we are, look. That one. It sounds like a cat bell, I love it. And the scissors. Got them on eBay. $2.99. And then the she does scissor pops, um, needle minders, all to match, which is great. And that's don't step on your needle. She's fantastic, lovely lady. And the colours in that one are beautiful. I'll show you the colours for that one. I've put them all to length. Look at the colours in that one. That one's a lovely one. I couldn't tell you the name because it's in Russian. I'd love to be able to speak Russian, but no. Unfortunately, I don't. So that's that one. Um, this one, right. This one was a pattern that I got on, I think, AliExpress years ago. I've only done a little bit. Now, why is it we start things and then we leave them for years? I don't know. But all these in here, I better put that back in there, are silk. So I can't show you the pattern, but I can show you the front if you'll be able to see it. There. She's like a fairy in a gown. All these here that I've bobbinated are all silk. 
can see that. They're all silk. And they're absolutely gorgeous to sew with. They don't tangle at all. Now, some silks I've used do. You see that shimmer there? I love that shimmer. And they're all silk. And I'll show you the actual that I've got on a scroll. Let's have a look. I think she's my biggest one so far, I think. Let's take the pillow off it. I feel like it is. Sorry. Oops. Now this one is a pre-stamped one. They say they're quite easy, but for me it won't at first. So she's just on a scroll there. Don't know if you can see that. That's what I've done so far. It's all in silk. But sometimes it's just when you're doing big ones where you have to count. I love the stamp ones for a break. Like in diamond painting, we do the big ones, but you do small ones at the full snack size. Now this next one is a really old one. I need to get this one finished. I do love it. It's two tigers. And you can see what I've done on there. Now this is a tapestry where you use like tent stitch. I've never heard of tent stitch before until I started getting back into it. But tent stitch is exactly the same as you did tapestries years ago. This one is a lion and it's cut. Beautiful colours. And what I used to do is, the, in fact, I might do it to my um, stamped ones. At the side, you'll notice, I'll roll it out. Sometimes when they put their colours on the side, some of them are very close in shade. So what I do is I attach little bits of that colour right next to the colour itself. So that when you're going round, or if you've just got this, you can refer to the colour that's there. Because sometimes the white ones or the beige ones look very similar to another. So I do that as in what you do with a Mill Hill kit. I wrap all the threads round pencils as it suggests to you in the instructions. And that way I can see better which colour's which. And then I put on the pencil a little ticket with that colour. So then it's very easy for me to look at a mill hill and do it. So that's that one. Let's look at this one. This is also another scroll rod. Oh, this is one of my favourite ones, this one. This one is also by Maddie's Charts. I'll show you this one. And this one is of a house. This one is a house that I'm doing. Now, this is actually the middle floor. It has got two more floors above it, I think. Wait a minute. You see, it's doing... It got, on the pages that you do, that's a full page. Can you see there? That's a full page. So to do the top part of that, you'd have to go into another page. But it's quite easy to follow on the chart. And then there's a dining room and a lounge here. And then there's also steps and a bit of garden. And there's roof and an attic with dolls in and rocking horses. So I do love doing that one. It's quite good. The back stitch is really quite easy as well in there. I will do a video on back stitch and uh, French knots if you'd like me to. Back stitching is not hard, people. It's actually like if you like drawing, the back stitching of a drawing is the outline. So just think of it like that. When you're doing your sewing, it gives that detail and it does make a difference. What is this one? Let's see if I can get in it. What's that one? Oh, that's just the house. I can show you that fully there. Look. So that's the house. What it should look like. So I'm right about here, across here. So I've got to go up there yet. And then there's the roof. And then you come down here and there's the garden at the bottom there. It's a really enjoyable stitch. 
It really is. If anybody wants to get that one, Maddie's charts. They're really quite good. Um, let me see what else I've got in here. I've just got a couple more now. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, oh, this is a good one. Not made of a great start on it. Try to get it in there perfect, but yeah. Now this one's quite hard for me. I don't know if anybody else has done Gecko Road. I got that as a present last year. I've only made a very little start. And um, on the cover minder, you can see what it would look like. It's been by Medusa the do doll maker. Medusa the doll maker, sorry. And that's the end of it, which I got as a cover minder, which I think is fantastic. And I've made that. And I've got that in a clip out, and that's on a 14 count. Um, got all the threads here. Let me show you those. Now I do, I do think I need to get these on bobbins or floss drops because cardboard is not great when you've got floss drops on it. Even when you're trying to get out the little flosses, these holes here, they break. So it's not really clever to... But those are the colours, they're beautiful and they're really quality. That's that one. I have got a lot that I plan to start. I want to start a Mirabilia um, as well. I should imagine she'll be quite big when I've done it because I have to do things on a 14 count or if my eyes are really bad um, but I'm going to try a 28 count I'm really going to try it and see what it's like um a little sign there this is my happy place yeah I like to come up and this was my daughter's bedroom originally but these are fantastic these are my diamond painting that I'm doing at the present it's a mystery flower one um yes yeah, so we've got that let's have a look we've got the new halloween which will go with that one and that one is going to go with that can't wait to get started on them hope you can see them all okay. good can you see them you can see that one can you see that one hmm. let's try and get that in a bit more Yeah. yeah, I really can't wait to do this one. That green opalescent with that pattern, I think it's going to look fab. And then the other one, that's going to be quite a challenge, but enjoyable as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. So that's floss tube three. I will do another floss tube to show you how I'm doing with my sewing so that's it for today thank you I'll speak to you again soon bye for now